So one of the other things that sort of is creating increasing levels of consternation as I travel around the world as it is, on the one hand, we have a huge number of fantastical exponential technologies that can let us do a whole variety of new things. But because those technologies and the things that they're enabling us to do are accelerating so quickly now, and they're only going to accelerate even more in the future, our time to get used to these new things, the new paradigm, the new reality, is shrinking. So whereas in the past your grandparents might have a decade, two decades, to try to get their head around but in new technology and what it meant for them, culture, society, industry, business and everything else. Today but we're increasingly lucky if we have a year or a couple of years, you know, maybe even a couple of months before something new starts crossing our desks. And that's one of the reasons why I go so far out now is because like driving a car, you know, if you're driving a car, the faster you drive, the faster your reactions have got to be uh, in order to sort of take the curve basically at the end. And as everything accelerates, basically we, so we need a further field of view so that we can process all of the things that are coming down the line, take our time processing them, think about them logically, and then decide how we feel about them, what we do about them, and everything else. Um, so increasingly, basically the future could look a little bit like a runaway car basically without any brakes. Um, but that just means that it's more imperative that we extend our horizons further and further out and push the boundaries as much as possible so that we can see that curve that's coming on the horizon and we can start breaking now before it's too late.